Today, awesome fan art from the P.O. East Box and a confession from a Jelly Baby murderer. What's going on, people at the Tari? Today we have another fan art edition of Deliveries from the P.O. Lease Box, also known as TARDIS Deliveries. The cool name was too long to fit on YouTube. So today we have some amazing fan art that recently came into the P.O. or P.O. Lease Box. Uh, since I don't have a lot of time to record this video, I'm just going to get into them and speedily. Uh, I stopped off at the P.O. Lease Box and found two letters in there today. In addition to the four I got the other day, or three, uh, two I got the other day, which made enough to do this video, especially Especially the one that I got from Zven the Reindeer from Frozen, who sent a massive envelope filled with several fan art, but I will save that one for the last. Remember, if you want to send any fan art into us, send it to P.O. <laughs> send it to P.O. Box 11, Angola, New York 14006. First up, we have a big envelope from Beijing, China, with a letter and drawing from Johannes. I hope I pronounced that right. I really like this drawing, way better than what I could do, and that's saying something because I'm graphics student. Uh, anyways, the, the detail on the tweet and the face are really good. I wish I could go in depth about everyone's letters, but I don't have much time, sadly. But included on his uh, his letter is a drawing of a caterpillar-like caterpillar creature that looks straight out of Wonderland. Next up, we have a drawing from Entertenant, who seems to be so eager to get the Doctor Who climb out, he takes a TARDIS to the future, where I am an old man, and the Doctor Who climb out has finally come out. I actually laughed at these captions that he included on his drawing. Next up, we have a letter and another drawing from Hades uh, 1919, making this his second fan art appearance. He was touched by me saying that I liked his previous drawing of the TARDIS coming through the Atlantis gate room and decided to send another one, and I am really happy to say that I might like this one even better. <laughs> uh, I really like the accuracy on the Star even though there's more than 39 glyphs. Uh, I really like the Dalek as well. This makes me wonder what planet the Dalek traveled to by Stargate and what it is blowing up. Next up, and lastly, we have Sven's, uh, see, I pronounced it right that time, Sven's, uh, massive letter I mentioned earlier. I am happy to report that this thick envelope arrived from the Netherlands in perfect condition. In his letter this time, he says that I should choose the one for the video that I like the most, but I'm showing them all. Most of these actually really made me laugh. First up, we have uh, the one where, yet yeah, again, I am being teased about being hungry, and this time my dad, who for whatever reason, for whatever reason, has a goatee and is giving me a jelly baby. My first jelly baby. Wow, I'm really out of it today. Apparently, I live in the darkest timeline, or Star Trek's evil universe. <laughs> Next up, we have a rather dramatized scene of me crushing draft stock streams. Aw, so sad. Uh, next, we have Sven uh, breaking into my TARDIS to yell at me while I'm recording a video of me blowing up TNT under a lamp thingy. Uh, next, we have a little picture of some of the Mod Division and iKings SEC server staff doing something angrily while I'm about to accidentally smack Blue Cube in the face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next, for my second favorite of this batch of fan art he sent me, Will Saber and Seven. Uh, I almost said it. Seven again. Sven attempting to build a Stargate in a way I have dubbed IKEA style. Uh, what do you get when you combine Ikings SEC and IKEA? Something monstrously fun and devilishly tormenting. Anyways, this one really had me smiling and laughing when I read it. Apparently, buying a Stargate only requires 50 bucks. Where can I get four of them? I just love how Will Saber is freaking out trying to read the instructions and figure out where one of the glyphs is supposed to go, and Sven just nonchalantly says, No idea. As he places a glyph on the gate. Uh, this fan art really gets a creative of a rating of creative and funny. And we and here we have the winner of this batch, Sven the Magical Reindeer sent to me. Uh, in this fan art we have Eddie and me in the Destiny Gate Room from Stargate Universe trying to figure out why the damn ship won't work. Something that was a recurring thing in the show, actually. Uh, probably one of the most important things of the show you need to know is that the ship never worked. Uh, up top, we have Destiny's countdown timer at zero, which is pretty indicative of the Akings RCC forums countdown timer when I forget to update it. I'm trying to figure out the Destiny life support systems while starving and end up casting Avada Kedavra on the ship's console system out of rage. And as you know, if you're a Harry Potter fan, that's the killing curse. 
uh, I think it's fairly <laughs> safe to assume that I blew up that control panel. I laughed pretty loud when I saw this one. It's a nice blending of all I can actually see related and mod division topics into one fan art. Sadly, that is all we have for this video. Talk to you, uh, it, well, first, that is all we have for this video, but if you would like to send in more fan art to us, uh, P.O. Box 11, Angled New York, 14006, talk to you all in the next one. But because I have never had a jelly baby, there is no murderer. Hal Hydra, roll the outro.